In the rapid growth of text-to-image, text-to-video, or even text-to-3D AIs, we have witnessed the future models generating visual contents in a way that we have never seen before. The text-to-image generation aspect has gotten so absurdly good that generating images of spectrograms can create comprehensible music if you convert it into audio. Refusion was the one that achieved this, and it is an extension of stable diffusion that was fine-tuned on spectrograms and has made text-to-music possible in a way that feels like cheating. It is pretty much just generating images, but imagine an AI-generated image can sound like this. On the other hand, you might have also heard of another text-to-music service called Mubert. Mubert is a bit of a mystery by itself since it is closed-sourced. But just to give you an idea of how it works, this is their demo. It can generate music with a few text prompts, and the whole music generation process is actually not synthesized through a neural network, but instead composed together by an algorithm. It's a pretty interesting idea since it might guarantee some decent sound quality. However, this makes generating complex or unique music much harder, and if you want to use a long and detailed text prompt, I doubt that will work. So here comes Google, casually dropping a SOTA in the field of text to music. On the 26th of January, they released Music LM, short for Generating Music from Text. And as its name suggests, it generates music from text captions, while not using any diffusion. Surprising, right? Music LM is actually based on a research that they released September last year called the Audio LM, which focuses on synthesizing high fidelity audio and is the piece that Music LM uses instead of diffusion. So, how does Music LM sound like then? Well, hold on to your two minute papers, wear a pair of headphones, and get ready to be completely mind blown. That was pretty good, right? To have the music being generated with such high quality and faithfulness to the text prompt is something we have never seen before. Even though you can still hear some incoherency and static noise, Music LM still generates music at 24k Hz that can potentially remain consistent over several minutes. They have demos online for long generations too, but I am not going to play the whole thing since they are up to 5 minutes, but here is a quick glimpse for you at different parts of the audio to show you how consistent it is. Amazing, right? Well, what is also surprising is that similar to diffusion models where you can have image to image or in painting functions, Music LM is also capable of that. By conditioning a piece of audio such as humming, and use the text prompt to edit the style to, let's say, um, guitar. This is crazy. They have a whole page of this on their official website. You should go play around with it. But let me just show you another one where it transfers a piano tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to jazz.
I was pretty much speechless when I was going through all of these, but there's more. So there's also this story mode where you can continuously play a piece of music and change it depending on the sequence of texts. So you can make this weird and long mashup of songs that somehow make sense. Or have a storyline of text where the music would change depending on the sequence of text. What is also fitting is that a story-like description can also be used to generate music. So taking these Wikipedia descriptions from these paintings, Music LM can then use them to generate soundtracks, which is weirdly fitting for these paintings. The descriptions from the scream generate some pretty creepy music. <laughs> The Starry Night generates some peaceful tune. And the music generated on the painting of Napoleon just perfectly describes the mood. Music LM can also easily generate different genres of music, from 8-bit, to Berlin 90s house to dream pop or play the xylophone electric guitar or even the experience level of a musician clubs in the 50s in 80s or 2000s It can even play accordion in so many different ways. Music LM is so much more powerful than any of the previous text to music AIs because of the flexibility it offers and how it can understand a very long string of text. 
On top of that, it has a wide generation diversity, as in the same text prompt can generate a wide range of different music compositions. Or have the same sample but with variations. I am just in awe that it is soon possible to have a fully AI generated movie from only text and the music can be entirely synthesized based on the visual descriptions. On the other note, in the music out and paper, they specifically stated that they have thoroughly examined the possibility of model memorization similar to how text based large language models can have. This means that they have made sure any of the pieces that music LM generates have a significant difference from any of the data used in its training. While it is obvious that they are trying to protect themselves from the whole copyright issues that AI art has faced, but I am glad that they respect the ethical aspects and the responsibilities which comes with developing a large generative model. But yeah, that's it for today. Check out their project page for a lot more demos. Unfortunately, they did not release their codes for safety issues, but they did release a new text and image pair dataset called Music Caps that contains 5.5k music text pairs with rich text descriptions. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Las Chelias, Chris Ledoux, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see y'all in the next one.